everybody and welcome to it. Today I'm going to be talking about so many essentials for college, whether you're an incoming freshman living in the dorms, an older student needing some ideas of things for your first apartment, or just like literally for going to class in general, I have a whole list for you guys. I am going to be a junior at Ball State University in Indiana and I am an advertising major and this year I am living in an off-campus house. Don't know why that matters right now, this isn't even related to move-in. <laughs> Anyways, I have so many other back to school videos so far. Um, here's my whole playlist. I will link it below if you guys want to go watch any other back to school videos from me for this year or from last year. But yeah, I have my whole list on my iPad. So let's go ahead and get right on into this. The first idea is a handheld steamer. This came in handy for me so many times throughout my freshman year in the dorms and even last year in a house off campus. I would have like a presentation in class and I needed to have my clothes without wrinkles or for sorority recruitment. Whenever I would buy shirts or dresses or something online and have them shipped to my dorm or house, they would come out really wrinkly and I would need to steam them. So I would definitely recommend just a tiny little handheld one. Um, it's really easy, especially over an iron. That way you don't have to have an ironing board. I personally use it a lot, but I don't know. You could get it and never use it. Who knows? The next thing is this nice little shower caddy. I love it. It's definitely a must have if you live in the dorms. Even if you live in an apartment, sometimes it's nice just to have something to hold all of your stuff in because you don't want to like have to carry like five shampoo bottles and all your stuff. When you're walking to the community shower, it's just so hard to carry it all. So when I have something nice to carry it all in, this one actually has a strap to carry it in, but then it also has a long one that you can kind of wear around you so that when you're walking back from after the shower, you're not so worried about trying to carry this. It's just on you so that you're not accidentally flashing people with your towel. So I think that's a really nice little aspect. So this one is actually from Dormify and it is a collaboration with Dormify and Bliss. So it is available exclusively at Target for $29.99 and with it you will get the shower cat and then a body butter, a body wash, a skin hydrator, clarifying toner and serum, and then another cleanser. So all of these skincare essentials and as you saw that all fit perfectly in here and there was so much extra space so you could fit so many shampoo bottles razors shaving cream everything else you need in here as well so the dormify seven pocket shower tote features five bliss facial and body care favorites for clean clear and hydrated skin to keep you glowing all semester long the scent lemon and sage smells so good I just think this is overall the ultimate self-care kit for your back-to-school checklist it's available for $29.99 at target.com and over Overall, it is a $60 value, so I feel like it's such a good deal. Let me go fill it up with all my stuff and see how much I can fit. <laughs> So I went into my bathroom and literally stuffed every single thing in my bathtub into it and there are still two pockets that can still be filled with stuff. I will have the link to this little package here with the Bliss and Dorify collab for the shower caddy if you're interested in this one. Next up on my list I have these little ottomans. These are a lifesaver for me. I use them because my bed was raised really high and I'm kind of short so I could not get up onto my bed without it. So that's one reason to use them. They also, I would highly recommend getting one with storage on the inside so you can just lift the top up and put something in there. I personally put my shoes in it, like my boots and winter shoes. So during the winter months, I would put my summer shoes in the thing. But on TikTok, I saw that people also suggested this to hide anything, just certain rules with dorms, like where the RAs aren't allowed to go and open up stuff that is your own. I don't know, not promoting anything, just make sure you're reading all the rules and everything for your specific dorm because everything's different everywhere. But yeah, I just think overall it's a great purchase so I would highly suggest this. I had a pink one from Target. Next up, one of these sticky phone wallets that go on the back of your phone. This is really helpful for me as a freshman when I had the ID because our IDs unlocked our dorm and that's what you had to use to get food. I was using it like multiple times every day. I hated having to like open up my wallet every time I needed it so getting this little thing that just stuck on the back of my phone was so nice because I just had to hold my phone up to my dorm door every time I needed to get in. I highly suggest one of those. They saved my life. I think I ordered like a bunch on Amazon because over time they would kind of wear off or start breaking. I definitely liked the rubber ones because they would keep your cards like suctioned in there, I guess. <laughs> Another college must have overall for literally anyone, whether you're in the dorms or not. Definitely bring some pepper spray. You never know what's gonna happen. College campuses are usually kind of safe, but it just obviously depends on your area. Mine, we kind of have some of the weird locals around sometimes. We've had a couple just random 
bad things happen. So <laughs> definitely consider bringing a pepper spray just to keep on your lanyard or in your backpack at least just because you never know what will happen, especially if you're walking back from class late at night. Another thing, if you are in a community bathroom situation, definitely bring some shower shoes. The floors are disgusting with everybody using them. You wouldn't want to get any warts or fungus or anything on your feet. So that's just gross. I feel like it's a common thing that everyone knows nowadays, but some shower shoes. I just got some off-brand Birkenstocks that were plastic and white from Walmart, maybe like 10 bucks. Another thing that I like as a college student is having a nice portable charger for if I'm out and about between classes and needed to charge my phone. I just have that in my backpack that I like to carry around. If you're living in the dorms, you will need a nice hamper. And I know there's so many cheap ones out there, but I would honestly suggest kind of splurging a little bit more money in a nicer one because if you get a cheap one, it's probably gonna break within the first month and you don't wanna have a broken one. It's just so hard walking from your dorm down to the laundry room. I guess it depends where you're at, but I was up on the fourth floor and our laundry room was on the first floor and dragging it down the hallway every time I needed to do my laundry was so hard because it got so heavy and then the handles broke and it was just a mess. So I would highly suggest getting a nice one. I've seen some that are on wheels, which are really nice. I tried the one that's a backpack, but it just did not work. It hurt my shoulder so bad. So yeah, start just thinking about your personal preferences and make sure you get a good one. Storage bins. I think that Walmart and Target have some really cute ones. You just need some basic ones that can fit under your bed. I even bought some for my year at this house this last year. It's just so easy to store it. I think I stuck some of them in my closet this year at my college house. I just feel like these are a given. Everybody loves these. And my freshman year, I got some and tucked them under my bed as well. These ones from Target were to great sitting right there but that one was perfect kind of going off of that if you are in a dorm and your beds don't like loft or raise at all definitely think about some bed risers so that you might be able to fit some extra things under your bed I think this is all at Walmart or even on Amazon but nowadays a lot of beds are actually starting to come with like the tools to be able to loft it itself in the dorm. That's how mine was. So just research that before you get there. All college students need some type of duffel bag for whenever you go home for a weekend. I, of course, have a Vera Bradley duffel. Here it is. It's really cute. Again, it's just perfect for the weekend. I think my boyfriend has like a red Under Armour one that he uses. Overall, just a good idea to have one of those. The thing that I like to have around me in college is some self-tan. I know my freshman year, I didn't do this at all and then like the first month all my friends were doing it because it's just so easy in the showers in the dorms so I went to the Walmart and got some so I use Loving Tan now very nice product I love it uh, but it's just good to have on hand because you never know another thing are some extra hangers for your closet especially if you are living in the dorm um, usually they don't come with hangers so I ended up having to go buy like three new packs when I first moved in because I ended up not having enough for all my clothes two sets of sheets whether you're in a dorm or a house it's just really nice so that whenever you are doing your laundry, you can put this other set of sheets on the bed so that if you take a little while to do your laundry, you at least have some sheets for that night and that way you're just rotating your sheets in and out. I know so many people on TikTok are recommending that you bring like multiple pairs, but honestly, I would only stick to two total just so you could rotate them. That's all you really need. A little bin or basket for some medicine and batteries. Those are just some random things that you don't think about until you're in the moment and you need them. So definitely just some basic like Dayquil, Nyquil and just ibuprofen or something. Maybe even throw in some band-aids. I don't know, just have like a cute little kit of stuff and then some batteries. If you're living in a dorm, I would definitely suggest some type of like cord clip that you can stick onto the side of your bed so that your phone charger, you can just hang it in there and so you're not like reaching down for it every night. Or what I had was this little thing, I think it's from Target that clips on the side of your bed and it had like pockets for my phone, for my glasses, for chapstick and everything and that just kind of velcroed on the side of my bed so that was really nice, especially if you do have glasses, it's a lifesaver. A hammock. I have one of these as a graduation gift. It's also a really good grad gift. Sometimes it's fun to go with some other friends that have hammocks and set up on the quad or something and I'll just do some homework or study or even just hang out and eat lunch with a hammock so I just feel like it's always good to have one of those on hand. A Bluetooth speaker is another good one. Um, it's just good, again, to have this because your friends, whenever you guys are getting ready for a night out or if you're just in your dorm jamming, it's always great just to have a little Bluetooth speaker around. A lamp. 
Obviously each dorm is different. Some of them will come with like lamps built into the desk, some won't, mine didn't, and then I ended up having to steal my boyfriend's because I didn't get one. But the dorm lighting is so bad, especially when I was trying to do my makeup. So I literally got this lamp just for at night when I wanted to study and then also to do my makeup. If you want to be extra, I would recommend an air mattress or some pillows, like bigger pillows and blankets for if you ever have friends stay the night at your apartment or your dorm. My freshman year, I had some friends down on, in my dorm, but like on the second floor and I was on the fourth so I would go down there like every Thursday night for a sleepover and they had like these big pillows that they would just sit on the ground and make it into like a bed for guests so that was really nice I really liked that if you think you're gonna have friends from like your hometown coming up to visit your college town every once in a while it might be good to get something like that another thing is just this little three-tiered cart very popular this is where I put all my snacks and then I, it just slid right under my bed as well very easy and can hold whatever I would just like a mini thing of dish soap if you do bring some dishes that are reusable. I know my dorm didn't come with dish soap, so you kind of had to bring your own. I don't know, something just a good to have on hand just in case, but if you're bringing dishes that you have to wash after every use, it's definitely nice to have that on hand. If you're living in the dorms, I would suggest some type of extra light, whether that's fairy lights, Christmas lights, LED lights. The lighting just isn't always the best, especially at like night. If you're not living in the dorms, I would highly suggest getting an air fryer for your college house or your apartment they are so nice especially when you're first like having to cook meals for yourself hear me out pizza rolls made in the air fryer are the absolutely best they're so good I just love seeing all the new recipes that you can make with an air fryer so highly suggest one of those something to hold your shoes whether that's like a shoe rack or like a thing like a cubby that's what I have where it like holds like 30 pairs of shoes and then you could also do like an over-the-door hanging one all up to you but if you and your roommate are both not putting your shoes anywhere they just get so cluttered on the ground by your closets and it's just not enjoyable a lint roller I swear I needed that so often last year. A deck of cards because it's just fun to play some games with friends whenever friends are over, whether it's drinking games or just like spoons, I don't know. You never know, you always kind of need a deck of cards at college. Going off of that, a wine cork remover. Um, this, we always forget. I literally have videos of my friends and I like doing the thing where you have to like use a match or like a lighter to like make it rise on its own and it literally takes forever so if you just have a wine bottle cork remover it's so easy it makes your life so much easier reusable straws for your backpack i think these are so nice there are some that literally come in like a little pouch and you just like put the straw on it so that you can reuse it every time um it's really nice especially because we have like a coffee shop on campus that i go to every day and having a reusable straw is really nice if you are planning on going to parties or frats definitely get a pair of frat shoes so just some shoes that you're probably going to wear out to the parties every night that aren't like that are kind of older and not your best quality because they're gonna be stepped on you're probably gonna step in puddles like they're just gonna get kind of gross by the end of the year and then also bring a couple like themed outfits so like um some common ones are like neon night we have like a toga tuesday where you like wear a toga that you have to make out of either like a bed sheet or like a long sleeve white men's shirt just kind of think of a couple ideas and bring some shirts like my freshman year a fraternity would announce their theme on like a wednesday and then that thursday and friday everybody would be going to Walmart and buying out all the stuff so oh Hawaiian isn't the big one so everything would be sold out and then we were left with nothing so I would definitely bring a couple things just in case it was just always so annoying because we didn't have cards as freshmen so we would have to ride the bus over to Walmart to try and get a neon colored shirt for Friday night <laughs> another thing is just to bring at least like one nice outfit for like presentations if you are going to be doing any presentations you never know the worst thing is when whenever they say you're gonna have a business presentation you have to dress up and you literally didn't bring any business clothes to college <laughs> and then also girls if you're rushing a sorority bring some nice dresses and if you're not even maybe bring like at least one nice dress just in case you do get asked to like a formal or something but yeah I think that is mostly it off the top of my head obviously there are so many things that you need I tried not to go over all the basic ones but I think it still has some if you are a college student comment below some of the necessities that you think are necessary in the college comments to help some people out and don't forget to check out the dormify and bliss shower caddy and bath essentials all the information is down below so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video